My opponent, Thomas Almeida, is a very, very clean striker. He has beautiful precision strikes, uh, and that's where he, he gets into his groove and he starts picking apart his opponent. Um, I think he's uh, not been tested yet. Uh, the one guy that he has not finished was a wrestler, such as myself. Tim Gorman was a tough guy. He came down to Brazil. Uh, he actually nearly closed Thomas's eye with uh, some good jabs and hooks, uh, and he's nowhere near as uh, dangerous a striker as I am. Uh, coupled with my wrestling, I think that's going to pose a lot of problems for Thomas. Um, but like I said, his, uh, his pinpoint accuracy and his Muay Thai are, are top notch. I expect the crowd to really give him a lot of energy, you know, we all know that Brazilians like to cheer really loud and ooh vamos head, you know, get in my head and stuff, but uh, fighting, uh, fighting in the lion's den against one of their, one of their upcoming lions is, is definitely something that he's going to feed off of. I think he's going to be aggressive um, and I think he's, he's going to want to put on a show at home like anybody would. Y you know, it, I, I sometimes envy it almost because I want to be in that, in that situation. But at the same time, I understand how much pressure is on him. He's perfect right now, 20 and 0. I don't have to be perfect. I just have to have fun. Well, I mean, if you look at his opponents, when he was 16 and 0, he was fighting someone for a title that was 5 and 3. Uh, he's fought Brad Pickett, who's very tough, but was 1 and 4 in his last five. Uh, and then he's fought Yves Jabway, who's another tough uh, 135er, but he was 3-3 three and three in his last six. So in my eyes, the reason he looks so good right now and so hot and there's so much hype is because he's beat big names on their way down. Uh, he's not fought another finisher like me. Um, I'm a very tough collegiate wrestler from the USA. I've wrestled in the United States college scene for a very long time. Uh, I've wrestled over 1,000 matches. And... Uh, I think uh, being able to use my wrestling with my striking is going to confuse him, uh, and I want to, to give him a puzzle every chance I get. I think, I think my UFC debut kind of fizzled me out a little bit. Uh, losing to Ian Entwistle was a big, uh, was a big hit to my career. Uh, I came in as a world champion, and to lose in 67 seconds to a guy by heel hook, uh, I think really uh, deflated you know, people's uh, opinions about me. Um, but I hope I reminded everybody how dangerous I am with the knockout of Joe Soto. Uh, but like I said, I think that, that submission loss that I had in Phoenix in my hometown with everyone cheering for me, uh, I think that kind of still is in everybody's mind of, of maybe there, I was too hyped up at the time coming in. The opponent that came in and beat me lost his luggage. They put him, he got his pickpocket in, in Phoenix, or pocket picked in Phoenix. Uh, you know, he had a very bad time coming into my home. I was feeling very confident that he didn't have what it took, nor the mental strength at the time because of everything that had happened to him to defeat me, not in my backyard. I was wrong. So to be 20-0 and 0 and have to stay perfect against a guy that's 13-2, and 2, I've lost at home. I've lost away. The only difference is how you learn from your experiences. And I'm going to give Thomas his first lesson. You can teach a lifetime of wrestling to somebody. I've been a wrestler for 22 years and I still learn things every day. For him to learn a month, 10 weeks, it's not enough. Especially against my style. They don't have anybody in Brazil that has my wrestling style. In the USA, they call it funk, funky. It's, it's unorthodox. So for him to have someone mimic how I wrestle and how I blend my wrestling with my jiu-jitsu is going to be hard to find. I want, I want Brazilians to know that I, I'm, I'm not a mean guy, I'm not mad, I'm not upset that I have to come fight in Brazil. Brazil's a beautiful country, I want beautiful memories off of that. And uh, a win over Thomas Almeida will give me the memories that I need. I think a win over Thomas puts me right there talking about the top five guys, you know. Uh, like we said, the, the, the Bantamweight division is such in disarray. There's injuries, there's people pulling out. There's so many things going on in the top 10 right now that a win over Thomas can put me right there, and I would gladly step in and take a short notice fight against TJ or Dominic. We know Dominic gets injured a lot, so uh, I'd love to throw my name in the hat and, and you know, tell Sean Shelby, hey, I'll be ready in January. I mean, everyone, I talk about him. I mean, I think his striking's beautiful. I think he's got such great Muay Thai. I'm a fan of the Muay Thai culture. I love it. Uh, but he lacks my, my biggest strength, and I think... It'll show my boss and it'll show Mike Tyson who I am. If you guys go back and, and look at, at the majority of my, of my careers, uh, my career over the time, you'll see I've been in multiple fight of the nights, multiple submission of the night wins, multiple knockout of the night wins, multiple just group fights. Like it, it's been 
I, I've, had, uh, I've had a blessed career. I've been very fortunate to get a lot of attention against another guy like Ryan Benoit, who's in the flyweight division now, after we had a uh, fight of the year in a, in a, before we were both in the UFC. We were the only non-UFC guys uh, on a card together that were put in for fight of the year next to Vitor Belfort, Luke Rockhold, Gilbert Melendez, Diego Sanchez, Mark Hunt, and Bigfoot Silva. We were the only people not in the UFC on that ballot to get voted for fight of the year. Uh, so to, to have people talk about this as potential fight of the night, absolutely. Does Thomas go backwards? No. They call me the bull, El Toro, I come forward. I'm gladly going to meet Thomas right in the middle where it says UFC and trade leather with him. And uh, if he's wanting to stand right there with me, I'm, that's more power to him. And, and that's a great honor for me to stand where, there with a guy that, uh, that has, you know, such beautiful striking.